Are you serious? Are we doing something wrong? I'm not sure. <laughs> hey guys, today we're doing a quick comparison of the AK muzzle devices. Uh, we have the Lantec Dragon, the primary weapon system FSC-47 uh, and the slant brake that comes standard with the AK. We'll do a simple test of 10 shots with each uh, muzzle device. I'll try to be consistent and hold the rifle the same uh, for the, each device and we'll shoot at the target like this one. 10 shots, quick succession and then we'll check the, uh, the grouping that we get. Uh, that's one test and the other one will be for the muzzle rise. So we'll try to check the slow-mo food footage and see which um, which compensator or which muzzle device eliminates the um, recoil and the muzzle rise uh, the best. So we're conducting this test at about 10 meters. We have the same target for each muzzle device. So what I'll do, I'll try to stand at the same place every time. I'll try to have the same grip for the each muzzle device and what I'll do, I'll aim my EOT at that circle on the target and then shoot 10 rounds. I try to shoot them in even spacing for each of the muzzle devices. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we'll see. This is not scientific testing but we'll see the results. Okay, so first we have the Lantec Dragon. All 10 shots are uh, in the target, I was try trying to aim here and it's quite hard to have a neutral grip. That's not so bad. Now we have to compare it to others. So now we'll do the test with no break. Hmm, interesting result. I thought it would make a, a bigger spread on the target, but that's not bad, not bad at all. Okay, so now we the slant brake. Damn! I'm not sure if I'm holding the rifle differently, but I do not think so. Look at the result. Are you serious? Are we doing something wrong? I'm not sure. I thought I hold it, I hold the rifle exactly the same as two tests before, but it looks like an awesome result for a slant break. I'm not sure. We'll test the FSC 47 next, and we'll see. I think I know what the problem is. It's in my grip. I'm the only variable here that it's not constant. So as you can you can see from the results, um, our testing <laughs> wasn't too scientific, wasn't accurate. Uh, the problem was in me, in my grip. I just couldn't be consistent. So I was the, the variable that was each time different. As you can see, the no break, that's probably the most accurate result. The Lantec Dragon was first. It got a, quite a good grouping, but then when uh, we went to, slant, to the slant break, I think I, I <laughs> I'm not sure if the brake is so good. I'm suspicious. I probably had a tighter grip on the rifle. But then we went to the uh, FSC 47. I loosened the grip, and this is what we got. So this is not um, accurate representation. So we we'll try to do uh, this drill a bit differently. Now I will have the best grip that I can for each try. Hopefully that will be more that will be more consistent and we could see uh, the performance of the brakes We also decided that we should probably move the target uh, a bit further because As you can see from the groupings all the groupings were pretty much the same size. I Hope this will be better now. We just need the targets and we'll try it again So we move the target further away I try to have the best grip possible for each muzzle device. Uh, we have no break at all right now. And I'll start. Okay. That was 10 shots. I will try to do the same tempo for each device. Let's go check it out. Okay, all 10 shots are in the target. Uh, now we can see the difference. Also, 
I really tried to do the best gripping possible, but the rifle started to jump. So I tried to, tried to compensate with it, with my grip, and probably forced it too low. Uh, we'll see the other tests, but my EOT on the side was like jumping around the target, so that's the result. Okay, so we have the slant break next, and if we're doing this correctly, this should show a better result. Okay, um, I got a better feeling with the slant brake, um, I think it was working. Okay, so all the 10 shots are on the target, when the brake works it directs the gases up and on to the, to the right, so it forces your muzzle a bit down to the left, so th this is what we can see here, but you can already see the better group then with the test with no muzzle brake at all. Now we have the primary weapon systems uh, FSC uh, 47 and let's try it out. Okay, 10 shots. Huh. One shot was out of target. I would say that the last couple of shots were here, but the first three, I think that the third one is probably out of the target. That's probably my fault, but I doubt we can do a more unbiased test than this. Now we have the Lantec Dragon here, and the same test, 10 shots, and we'll see how it goes. The first observation was that this was more controllable than, than all the others, even the, the FSC 47. I could notice the difference. Okay, I think the target confers, confers my, my, my feelings about it. Shots are a bit to the left and down, but the grouping is really, really good. I think, to be fair, we should do another test with the parameter weapon systems FSC 47, just in case if that was my fault that one shot went out of the target. Okay, the first difference that I noticed between this one and the Lantec is that this forced my muzzle again up into the right. So, let, let's see the group, the group is better right now. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so all 10 shots are now in the target. But, uh, as you can see, one is up and to the right. And I got the feeling that the rifle was forcing me to the right, so I had to force into the opposite direction. So, now we're trying to make some sense from the results that we got. Again, I'm the variable, I can shoot better or worse. I really try to do the best grouping possible with each, each try and these are the first four tries. As you can see, uh, no break has the worst spreading, then it's the slant break, more to the left, uh, then the primary weapon systems um, FSC 47. The problem here was that I think the third shot jumped out of the target, so the, the rifle jumped to the right and one shot was off the target it probably was my mistake that's why we did uh, we, we did the uh, take two of it and <laughs> as you can see that's the best result so far so probably if i would shoot 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 and try 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 with each of them i would get better grouping but for the first tries the lantex, lantex dragon had the best grouping of them all. Uh, also the feeling with the with the Lantec is if it controls the rifle better. Uh, even with, the, another, with the, the another try with the FSC 47, I got the feeling that it it pulls the rifle to the right too much. And also the, this grouping is really good, but you can see the flyers, one to the right and one to the left. 
and Lantec is more consistent if we compare so you can see the grouping here this is really good but then two flyers and Lantec is quite consistent with the hits so this is no no defini definitive testing uh, the only <laughs> the only thing that we found out with this is that uh, it's definitely better to have a brake or a compensator than no brake at all uh, also the sand brake is not so bad as we thought uh, but we should probably do more further testing with the primary weapon systems FSC and the Lantec Dragon to determine if one is superior to the other